Hi, welcome to our core concepts of Skype for Business Server 2015 course. My name is Brian Nice. I'm an architect in our enterprise communications global practice here at Microsoft. I want to introduce you to uh, our second module of the course here, which is Skype for Business Server 2015 uh, planning and design process. The purpose of this module is to start discussing the uh, planning and design aspects uh, involved in a Skype for Business Server deployment. Uh, this would include introducing items such as the Microsoft Solutions Framework methodology, uh, which is a methodology that we use for uh, performing planning and design and implementations of uh, various products, including Skype for Business Server, uh, but also then being able to take that process and start putting it into action. So talking through uh, business requirements, understanding how we map these business requirements into uh, our design aspects, and then starting, in, uh, starting to get into the technical aspects, such as pool placement, uh, understanding a little bit more about the sizing, uh, the scale, uh, and all of the corresponding dependencies uh, that are involved in deploying Skype for Business Server. Uh, this would include items such as networking dependencies, uh, infrastructure dependencies, and so forth. So the real intent here for Module 2 is to get a solid understanding of items that we need to be considering when we're planning and designing our Skype for Business Server deployment. 